hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe and this is Kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how to create this um, amazing community or social media website over here okay so uh, maybe you have a you know a group of people a group of community or you want to create you know a community website i think this one um can help you because it is free we use everything free i used everything free resources to uh, to create this what website for you so i'm going to take you through how the website looks like and then if you feel like you want to what you want to watch it then you go ahead and watch it so um if you are logged in you'll be redirected to this place but if you are logged out okay so you let's say i'm i'm going to log myself out so if you are logged out or if you you know you want to go to the website you'll be redirected to this landing page over here okay whereby you have to what you have to log in first before you can be able to what access the main what website so um i will log in again and then you know um take you around the website how the website really looks like so let me see i want to log in okay so when you log in you come to the activity page over here okay so um on in the activity page you see uh, if somebody is online you see them over here okay who is online you can see the person over here that is people who you are what you are connected to okay you can see all your connections online and then um the members on your what on your website to um, some of the members you can see them over here okay and then uh, your groups various groups that you have to you can see all those groups over here so i'll show you how you can be able to um you know this um, um position or display all those things in this vantage point over here okay and then also um you know and and on um in the activity side you can see everything that goes on into the website so whoever posts something you you see it over here okay you can um you know like comment or do whatever it is so if i want to comment on this picture i can just see what um beautiful picture or whatever it is so let's say um nice picture okay i can just you know comment under it just like that so as you can see over here nice picture okay i can even you know comment with um a, a gif or a gif or you know even an emoji okay so i can comment with any emoji that i want to what comment with okay so let me choose an emoji so i can choose any emoji let's say i want to choose this one and then i can just what um, you know post it okay so you can see it over here okay so somebody can also reply to your comment and a whole lot of stuff okay so basically that is how the website looks like now you have your your profile okay you can check your you know you can check your account you have your profile you have your everything if you post photos you can see it in, in um, under your profile you can also see it in your timeline okay so this is what this is your profile you have your name um, you know your last name and then your nickname over there okay you have you can set your um, you know your featured image and then also your image over here okay and then um, all this one so when you get you know notification or new connection right now I have three connections over here and then you can what um, create groups I'm in two groups over here you can also what you know um, you I have one video I have what um, two photos okay so somebody can come and look at your what your profile and check everything that you what that you have over there okay so that is what about your profile you can also you know go to your timeline and check your own timeline what you've been posting on your timeline okay yeah so everything that you post on your timeline will come over here okay so um seven minutes ago i posted this thing this picture over here okay so i'll see it over here i posted a video too uh, I, this one is what a comment this one is a, a um a gif okay so this one as you can see and then you know a lot of what things that i do will come under my what my timeline okay so everything that you do will come under your what under your timeline okay so that is what the timeline so you you can also create forums you can also create what groups and a whole lot of things when you get a message you see it over there when somebody connect with you you see it on the what the notification side okay so the whole lot of things that a website this website really offer and that is what makes it a community what website so you can create groups you can create forums and people can ask questions and then you know people can answer in the groups and a whole lot of stuff so these are all groups okay so when we go to um this group which is accra photographers now this website basically is about photography okay so because i'm 
I'm um you know I'm creating it for photographers in Accra. Okay. Now those of you who don't know Accra, Accra is in the um in Ghana. It is the um the 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 um um how do you call it the capital of what of Ghana. Okay. So basically it is what photographers in what in Accra. That is it. So this group have what um one two three members. Okay, including me over here. So these are these are. So if you want to connect with somebody, you can just click over here to connect. But I'm connected with all of them. I'm following all of them. I can send them what a message. Okay, that is it. So this is this is what what the um the group how the group looks like. You can see all the members in the groups over here. Okay, and then also um you when you go to discussions over here, you can what um see the discussion that goes on in the group. Okay, so um at the moment there is only one discussion going on over here. Okay, so. The discussion says what what is the best camera to use for photography business as a beginner so somebody would ask a question so if you want to what you want to answer you can check it it is just like you know a normal community whereby a forum whereby you know people ask questions and people answer okay so i can um i can you know just answer and say that maybe um check out um Canon is that is where Canon yeah so check out Canon um whatever it is so let's say six six D okay so check out Canon six D so and then I can you know um put a picture over there or even a video of the thing over there and then I can what click on what um post okay to post the answer under that what under that um question that the person what the person asked so um the website really entails a lot of things okay uh, there are a lot of things that goes on in this website and i'm going to show you how you can be able to uh, create this um, amazing website and connect with each other okay connect with each other so if you want to create something like this um using free resources like i said the only thing you need to buy is what your domain and then your hosting all other things used in creating this website is what is free okay and that is what mostly we do over here we try as much as possible to reduce the cost in creating the website and then help you to be able to create your own website for free okay without spending much in it so um basically if you are if if you are new over here i will entreat you to what subscribe to the channel so that we what we all learn together and grow together okay so um stick with me unless you know start the design process now there are a lot of things over here i cannot show you everything over here but then as we go on i'll be explaining things to you okay so um that is how the website looks like let's jump into the raw um tutorial itself <laughs> Alright guys, so to be able to create this website, there are certain things that we need to be able to help us create this website. First things first, first we need a domain and a hosting, okay? We need domain and a hosting, we need to buy a domain and then connect it to a hosting. And then, um, secondly, we need some themes that will be able to what, help us create this amazing what, website. And then also, we need some plugins to help us develop this community what, website. So, um, we're going to start with what? With a domain first. So um there is a link in the description over there just click on it it will bring you to this page over here okay it will bring you over here now when you come over here just search for the domain that you want to um you know use so i want to use Accra photography okay of course i've bought it already so um definitely it's gonna say it is what it is it is um it has already been taken but search for your domain now when you find a domain just you know um go through the process of what creating an account and then buying the domain okay so um it is searching for the domain for me i've already bought it i just want to show you how you go about it okay so as you can see it is what it has been taken now i registered this domain last year okay and i want to use to create this what this website so when you, you it, it's not taking like let's say let me just search for um and then add another one over here and then see how it behaves now when it's not it's not taking you realize that it will tell you that what it is what available so as you can see it is what 
8.98 per year dollars per year very cheap okay that is not that expensive you can what buy it and then you renew it at what um 13.98 almost like 14 dollars okay you can click over here to what to add to cut okay just click over here add it to cut and then proceed to what to you know um buy what buy it okay so when it's added to cut you can proceed to what to check out over here now of course if you don't have hosting already you can also what decide to what search for hosting so as you can see there are a lot of what um things over here and the hosting as you can see over here it is what it is just 21.8 um, dollars per year if you feel like the hosting this one is too much for you you can even go over here check their ma their their um shared hosting over here okay just check the shared hosting over here and then pick a hosting that really um is good for you okay so as you can see they they do hosting as low as what 1.88 dollar per month okay so if you are doing it yearly it means that you are going to pay what um 20 21.48 and this one will give you access to host three websites on it okay three websites on it and then you also have a 20 gigabyte with ssd storage okay and they have free cdn so you can choose between all these ones the one that you want and then you pick it so when you choose to so just click over here get started okay when you click on get started it will take you through the process of what connecting your domain to it so um this is the domain that you want to use so this one it has already added to it so as you can see you are paying what 31.04 usd which is quite inexpensive okay and you can with this one you're not buying anything again you're just buying this one so that you can be able to uh, use it to create three amazing websites on your own okay and that is it so just you just add it to cut and then you proceed to it uh, to go okay so um you can you know check your total cut okay and then you 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 can what confirm the order okay so if you don't have um you know account on it they will tell you to create an account okay so when after creating an account you just confirm your order and then you what you are good to go i have already bought the domain so i'm not going to what i'm not going to buy it again now as you can see this is the domain that i bought okay this one acraftphotography.com okay yeah so this one is what i bought and i have a hosting already so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move to the next one so um the next step is what to connect um to to install wordpress on my what on my um hosting okay now that i have my domain i have my um i have my my hosting i have to what, connect wordpress to my what to my hosting so let's go to the c panel and then connect our wordpress to it okay guys so we are in the c panel over here now when you log on to your c panel just scroll down okay just scroll down and then you see this one over here which says what wordpress okay we are looking under this one stuff um softaculous apps installer okay now if you can do all these things you can just skip to the what um to the next session whereby we what we log into our after installing the wordpress we what we log into our web um your your wordpress dashboard and then we start installing the theme that we are going to what we are going to use but if you are still um you know you don't know how to install um wordpress on your computer on your on your on your um hosting then this is how you are going to what you are going to do it but if you don't even have a domain and hosting and then you want to learn how to install wordpress on your computer i have a video um in the description over there you can watch that video you can also check my channel you see the video over there okay so let's go ahead so click on wordpress over here so under softaculous apps installer just click on wordpress okay guys so you'll be redirected over here okay so all what you need to do is to click on install over here so just click on this blue button over here which says install now now um of course i have some you know other um domain which is on this hosting so um we're going to you know search for the one that we are going to use so this is what acraphotography.com that is what we are going to use over here okay so uh, make sure that if it is uh, ssl you know you have ssl on it make sure that you select what ssl of course this one have a free ssl because of where i bought my domain okay so they give me what free ssl 
so as you can see it is it is there okay so i can decide to change it to if i change it this way it will still work all right but i want the ssl okay so i can decide to what uh, make it www.accraphotography.com um, okay just like this one and then um, make sure that the the um, wordpress that you install is the what is the latest one okay so the latest one is 5.93 as at now that i'm recording this video and then what you have to do is what um you know set your site name okay so enter your site name so my site name is what Accra photography okay and then you know what do you do so um a community for photographers community for photographers in Accra okay so i'll just say a community for photographers and then you can what enter your what your username okay so my username is what is Kobe and then you can also enter your what your password okay so i'm going to set my password over there now you can decide to generate password okay so that it will be what, secured for you but i'm going to enter my own password okay so i'll enter it okay so make sure that your password is what secured okay so after that you can enter your what your email address too over here okay so um, i'm going to use my email address okay so i'm going to enter this one over here and then um if you want the website to be a multi-site you can also decide to take this one okay but we are not of course we are not doing a multi-site over here so we just what um fill in this few details and then we scroll down now we are not going to what um you know do anything again we are not going to um choose um theme okay so we just scroll down and then we over here the blue button over here you click on what install i'm still going to what enter this email address over here and then click on install now it will start the installation process for us okay it will start the installation it will take some few minutes some few seconds it will be done some few seconds will be done so as this one is um you know um installing if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit the hit the notification button to when you subscribe so that when i do any video you get it over there so our, our wordpress is installed now we can take a look at how um, our new website looks like okay so let's click over here and then take a look at how the website looks like so this is how our website looks like okay so i got a message that i've installed wordpress so this is how the website looks like okay so this is how it looks like now if anybody uh, um you know goes to the website this is what the person what we see as at now okay now we of course we have two links over here one is the website address and the other one is what is the um the uh, administrative url okay so that is what we are going to use to log on to our uh, the back end of the website so let's click over here to log on to the back end okay so this is our back end okay guys this is our back end so i'm going to um you know delete um the ones that we are, we are not going to use anymore so this this is our back end guys this this is the back end of the website so now we have um wordpress installed and everything is what's ready to go okay so the next step that we are going to do is we're going to do some few wordpress settings okay so what we are going to do is um i'm going to clear the the dashboard okay make it to the clean dashboard so i'm going to untick this ones over here so i'll untick this ones over here okay now that i have you know cleaned the dashboard the next step is what to go to settings over here okay and then under settings i'm going to go to general to see that all the things that i set bef uh, before installing have were taking place okay so my website name is there my tagline is there okay so i have everything set up okay very good now this is what's going to be a membership website so i will um, take this one so that everybody can what can be able to register okay so very good so everything is correct now i want to set my time to what accra because i am in accra right now and then um i'll set what um if the date everything is correct i'm just going to do what i'm just going to click on what save changes over here okay very good so guys i'm done with this one now the next one that i'm going to go over is what um let me go to permalinks okay so i'm going to go over to permalinks over here now you see the permalink says what um anything that we do on the website will have especially with the post will have what um you know this kind of what um a long url okay now we don't want it that one we want a simple one so we're going to choose a post name okay and the post name will just be like um the website url and then any other you know page or post that we would that we create will come after it okay so make sure that you set your permanent to a post name and this one is good for what seo purposes 
so make sure that you do that one and then come over here and click on what save changes okay so now that we have our permanent set everything is correct now the next step that we are going to do we have we have done with what the few settings wordpress settings that we what we do now the next the next thing that we are going to do is what is to install uh, um the theme that we are going to use for what the website okay so let's hover on what appearance over here and then click on themes now basically if you install wordpress wordpress comes with what um its own what themes okay so you have these three themes over here okay now i'm going to you know delete all of them so that my website will be what will be free and fast okay so i'm going to delete this one also okay very good so I'll, i'm only left with this one because this one is what active and running okay so i can't delete it now what i want to do is what i want to install a new theme so i'll click on add new over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a team called Buddy X. Okay. So let me say Buddy X. Yes, very good. So I'm going to install this team. Okay, this theme over here. Okay. This one. Yeah. This is what I'm going to install. Okay. So I'm going to install this theme over here. So it's called what Buddy X. Okay. So click on install. And then click on what activate to activate it. Okay, so now that I have this theme installed, I'm just going to uh, delete this one. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one, so that will be left with the body um, X theme only. Now you realize that there is what uh, some recommendation over here for us to install some what uh, some other plugins. Okay, definitely it runs well with what uh, with this theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click on what uh, begin installing um, plugins, and then we click on um, we take this one to uh, to select all of them, and then we click over here to uh, click on install, and then we click on apply. So we install all the required plugins for us for us to use okay now that we have our team installed now let's take a look at how our website looks like let's refresh it and see okay so now this is how our website looks like okay so we have nothing on it but the team have changed and this one is looking quite you know impressive even though it is not what we want okay so now that we have the team that we can be able to use to run our website going now the next one that we are going to um look for is what we're going to look for um, the plugin that we what we use to run the community that will give us all access to a whole lot of what community okay down the plugin is called what um, buddy boss okay so as you can see over here this is the the the, the back end of the other um, um how do you call it? the other website okay the plugin is called buddy boss okay so we're going to install that plugin now unfortunately that plugin is not in the wordpress um directory okay so we have to go to buddy boss website to be able to what install that what that plugin okay guys so the next one that we're going to do is like i said to install what the plugin okay so what we're going to do is um we're going to you know um click open a new tab over here okay and then type in this one okay type in um buddyboss.com slash platform okay just type in that one buddyboss.com slash platform okay i'll put the link in the description over there so that you can what be able to go over there to what to download it now we'll bring you over here okay so as you can see it, ha it says what um buddy boss platform the most advanced plugin for what running online communities on wordpress now click over here to download it you can decide to what go for the premium one but we are using the free one okay so fill in your what your um you know your name and then your what your um your your first name and then your what your email address okay so just fill in your first name and then your email address and then you can be able to what, download it but if you don't want to fill in your first name and then you just click over here no thanks i just want to what, um you know i just want the body boss platform plugin so just click over here no thanks okay and then what you'll be able to what, but if you fill in the email address and all those things you can be able to what, get notification whenever there is what new updates and other things so that is it. so as you can see it is what it is um downloading over here okay so let me close this one and let's wait for it to download okay guys so it has finished with downloading okay so let's go back to let's go back to our website okay um let's go back to our website now over here let's go to plugins over here okay so under plugins we go over to what add new so because we're going to add this plugin over there okay so just go over to add new and then um oh okay so when we install the other plugin we did not activate it so let's 
let's click over here to begin activating that plugins first okay so let's click over here to activate it let's activate it them all and then click on apply to activate them all. now that they are activated let's go back to the plugins and then we'll install the body boss what plugin okay let's install the body boss plugin okay so elementor is what is taking over but we don't want to uh, do anything about elementor right now so let's just um you know cancel it and then let's go to the plugin side to uh, to you know add new plugin okay so let's click on add new and then what we are going to do is we click over here to upload what the plugin now you can click over here to choose the plugin but i have the plugin over here so i'm just going to uh, drag it on over here okay so yes the plugin is here so what app i can do is what i can click over here to cl um, install now so it is what it is installing the plugin for me okay guys so the plugin has successfully been installed now let's click over here to activate it okay very good so now that the plugin is what successfully activated now you'll be redirected to this page over here welcome page over here so um, go through the documentations and the roadmap if you feel like you need to uh, go through it okay so that is it so um you can go through it okay you can go through it now i'll close this one okay and then i'll you know go to screen options to what on take the elementor overview over here okay so now we have what the body boss body uh, body boss over here okay so as you can see over here we have the body boss over here okay so that is it now let's go to our website okay and then let's click on refresh and see um if there is some changes in our website okay so this is the the state of the website no changes done okay so now what we have to do is we have to do some small settings of the what of the body boss okay but before we do that let's check the pages and see if the body boss have created some pages for us yes yeah, so as you can see it has created some pages for us that created some um this page which is activate it has created what members page news feed okay register um and then what terms of of service okay all these pages has been created for us but this one and this one i want to trash this one this one comes with what um wordpress when you install it okay so this one i'll leave this one over here but i'm going over here to trash it again to completely trash it okay so that will empty the trash okay very good so these five pages left okay one two three four five were created for us um by the body boss team okay so we have what the activate the members the news feed the register and then the what the terms of what service okay so um basically we have this ones now what we have to do is um to to also create some pages but before we even create some pages okay i want us to do certain things first now we need to create our um home page okay so let's take a look at how the news feed looks like so this is basically the news feed and the news feed is going to be our what our home page okay because that is where that that is where all the other things people what um people do everything that people do will come okay so if i click over here i can what start to what post okay so uh, maybe hello um this is my first post okay so i can just post it so as you can see i can like and then i can even what comment on it okay and say maybe welcome uh, and post okay so that is this is what the news feed and this is how it works so automatically we have our our um, um community website uh, you know going on because of the plugin that we installed but before we we go over to we we go on to what uh, to you know set up everything let's let's go to the body boss plugin over here okay now let's go to settings and then let's look at the settings under the body boss what plugin okay so um basically this this is the settings as we can see but let's go back to what component over here let's go to component over here now there are these are all the components that comes with what the 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 plugin okay some are activated some are not activated so we can activate all of them because i want all of them to uh, to start working so as you can see over here all the components that we have over here are what we are seeing over here okay so if you if you look over here it says member profiles um profile fields account settings notifications 
um, news f uh, activity feeds okay that is a news feed so basically all these pl uh, all these you know settings or activated settings over here can be what we can see over here now if we we of course if we um, you know we create menu for it we will see our account profile and all those things over there okay so all these things are there now let's activate these ones over here so that we can have what a group and forum we can also have what media uploading that is somebody can be able to what, upload what um, video or pictures okay we can have private messages that that it's uh, two people or whatever thing can be able to whoever it is or two um, people can be able to uh, communicate um, with themselves okay and then uh, member connections people can send people friend requests and then also email invites people can also invite people through email moderation okay you allow members to also block and unblock people okay all those things and then network search people can be able to uh, search for what members so all these things we want to uh, activate them okay so let's um you know click on tick tick all of them the ones that we want to activate okay but i want to activate all of them and then over here click on what activate okay and then click on apply okay we have all of them activated now let's take a look at over here now as you can see we don't have anything over here okay so let's refresh it and see if something will come over here as we activated what the other um, you know settings or the other component so as you can see we have what we have um you know photo over here okay it means that um photo have been what activated but the all the other settings we need to do certain settings before the other settings was the other component will also reflect over there so first let's go to the settings over here okay so as you can see let's take a look at how the other um, you as you can see we have what we have um photo we have video we have what um document we have what um the g for the gif okay all of them now all of them are also what are also there so what we have to do is what we have to activate all those things okay so let's go through all the settings one by one okay so here says what account deletion you want to you know allow uh, members to delete their profile yes and then the toolbar the toolbar is the one over here okay is the one over here so um show the toolbar for logged in admins now yes i want to show it for um admins who are logged in okay and then show the toolbar for logged in members no i don't want to show it to what to members and i don't want to show it to what to users also okay so i just want to show the toolbar to just the admin of the website okay and then over here says what registration now enable enable sorry enable what registration okay so we have to what enable reg that you want to allow members to non -mem uh, members to what to register a new account yes you want to allow so over here you look for what the registration um this is the body boss registration okay this is the body boss but if you have any custom link also you can what you can you know add it over there so now let's look at how the 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 body boss registration looks like so um let's go to i i want i want to see how um as you can see this one this is the old one now if if you are not logged in okay let me log out over here and then you see how it behaves now if you are not logged in this is how it behaves okay now if you go to register over here now this is what the registration page. now of course this is something um i i really did some few settings over here okay so if you are not logged in this is how um you can be able to uh, register okay somebody can be able to register or non member can be able to uh, register okay over here so now let's try to have this page done okay so um to have this page done what we have to do is what we have to make sure that we create a page okay we create a page and then we use um um we we set it over here as what as the as the body boss registration page okay so use the default body boss registration form make sure the configuration the uh, to configure the registration pages okay so we can click over here to uh, to go and then um, configure the pages but before that let's save the settings that we've done okay and then click over here to uh, to configure the page okay so let's click over here okay so this is what this is the page um the 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 settings that we can do for the pages okay so as you can see we have what members over here right so this is the members page okay we have what um videos we don't have any video page 
we haven't set any video page we have what um photos this is the photos page we have what documents we don't have any documents page yet we have social group we have forums we have what news feed all those pages were created and then registration form that is what register and then terms of service over there and then policy uh, privacy policy we haven't what done it yet and then the activate account okay if you want people to what, activate the account so now these are the pages now let's go to let's go to pages over here and see the pages that oh this is post okay let's go to pages over here and see the pages that we can what we can create okay so as you can see we have the register page created for us already so now we as we activated some of the things you realize that some of the pages um some of because we're having only five pages but now because we activated those pages some of the the, the pages are, uh the pages have increased okay so that is it so um we need to create one another page which is what for photo um videos okay so let's create videos so i'm going to um, you know cancel this one and then i'll just click over and then name it with videos okay and then i'll click on um publish okay so now that i have this you know um set i want to click on this dot and then exit full mode and then i go by again and then i want to see um the page the the the, the pages that we need to create let me go to pages okay so over here we can set what the videos over there okay so we can set it now you realize that even with this one and um, we can decide not to set it but we can decide to what create click here to create the page it will automatically create the page for us okay and then also this one the same thing we click here to what to create it will automatically what create the page for us okay so as as we've done it over here so the document page is what is created the same way with the privacy policy we have to create it and set it over here okay so if you are done with this one all what you need to do is to click on what save what changes okay so we are done with our pages okay we are done with our pages we are done with our component now let's go back to our settings again and then let's continue with the settings okay so now that we said what we want to allow members to uh, delete their profile we want to show the tuba for only admin now over here to we've, we've done with what we want to allow members to also register okay and then over here to a uh, private website now over here we'll come here later on after everything is set okay for now i don't want to make it private but we'll come here later on now let's go to profiles okay so um what do you want to display okay so you can choose between um, either you want to display the first name first and last name or the nickname i want to just show the first name okay and then um display name fields which name fields do you want to display on the what on the profile so you can select which ones you want to what display and then you know profile images you can also what choose um, between um, profile avatars so which one do you want to what? do you want to use the wordpress or the body boss i want to use the body boss okay and then what um upload avatar so allow members to upload a profile avatar yes i want to allow members to upload so you can choose between this ones okay so if you want um, to use this one as a custom what you know um, avatar or you want to use the custom uh, one and then you can upload your own or custom image okay but i just want to use the legacy one okay and then enable um gravitas now gravitas are basically um if you have registered with what wordpress okay it means that whenever you register on this side it will pick your picture from wordpress street and then bring it over here but we don't want to enable that one and then also um profile cover images yes you want profile cover images and then default um profile cover so which one do you want okay do you want this one this one or this one you can even set a custom one so that when nobody uploads a what um the, your custom will take over but i just want this one to be there okay so um we we just want what the the body boss one so that um they will know that if they haven't what uploaded a photo they will know that they haven't what uploaded any what image over there okay so um with this one is what is is a premium site okay so this one also that is how it you look um it will look on the what um 
uh, on the front side of what of the um, profile um you know side of the of the user okay or the member okay and then this one is what um profile header so how you you want it to be you can choose between but this one is what the premium side so you cannot choose anything so let's go to the members directory how do you want to show the members directory do you want to show it as a list or a grid okay so whatever it is you can show show it over there okay and then um let's go over here to the profile type so if you want to enable profile types so we can enable it but i'm not going to what, enable all this one then profile search uh, yes i want to enable what profile search so after everything is done let's click on save over here and then let's try to move on to a different um field that is what the group side okay so let's go to groups and then with the group question do you want to enable social group question yes and then group messages do you want to allow people to send messages in the group yes i want to allow and then also with the groups you can choose between um the avatars that you want to uh, show and the covers that you want to show okay Th and this is how it's going to be like the same thing like like the profile okay and then when you come over here to how you want the groups to, uh, to also show you can um you know determine that one and then the group types okay so you want to enable group types to better organize what um you know uh, your groups so you can what either enable it and then auto membership approval okay you can also set auto membership approval for all the groups and then um group hierarchies uh, so if you want to what allow groups to um you know have subgroups you can also what choose this one okay but i'm not going to go through all those things so i'm just going to uh, save the settings and then we move on to the next one and then the next one is what the forums okay so with the forums also basically um it's it's the same thing so anonymous posting do you want people who to post without what that is guess like more or less like guess you just to post over there you can take over there and then um you can go through all these ones okay so revisions favorites subscriptions discussion tags search um post formatting you know all those things you can go through the ones you don't like you untick it okay and then um go through all of them all of them are what readable you can read and understand and they are just um something you can read and understand okay so you can go through all of them and these are the slacks for the what for the groups okay and the forums so you can um decide to you know change it the way you want it okay and then um the forum uh, profile slacks to are uh, this ones and then also from um, group forums okay so enable group forums if you want to enable group forums just like what we saw on the other website you enable this one so we click on save over here to save the settings now let's move on to the next one which is notifications so with the notifications to you can what on screen notification if you want to um you know when somebody send uh, send you a message it will come on the screen yes i want to what show on screen notification the mobile support show on screen notification on what smaller screen yes and then um show in browser also yes i want to show in browser so that it will what when somebody um send a message i'll still see it in the browser over here so that one too i'll see it so click on what save settings now one thing about this plugin is that if you have any issue if you don't understand any issue you see the view tutorial over here every session have its own tutorial over there okay so you can just click over there to uh, to view the tutorials okay so make sure that you what um you you view you view the tutorial anything that you don't understand you can view the tutorial okay and then also click on um let's click on activity to check the activity settings okay so these are what the activity settings. so um edit activity so when somebody posts something do you want them to also come back and edit it yes i want them to edit it and then uh, you can choose between um, you know the days they can be able to edit it so maybe um one day or maybe seven days they can after seven days they cannot edit it again okay so you can also leave it as what forever okay and then activity auto refresh yes you want it to what, auto refresh themselves and the activity auto load also i want it to what, auto load when i'm scrolling okay and then activity tabs so do you want to show activity tabs yes i want to show activity tab. and then follow allow members to follow each other yes i want to and then likes allow members to like and then link uh, previews when you post in a link okay you i want to show a pre i want it to show what a preview okay just like what um, it's done on facebook and other stuff when you post in a link it will give you what a preview of what of the link 
so that people can see what the link is about and then relevant activity so restrict the activity feed directory to only post that are relevant to the logged in member i will leave this one out as on tick and then over here you can check the ones that you like the ones that you don't like you can what on it okay and then i'll click on what save changes over here okay so now that i'm, I'm i have this one done now let me go to the media okay so with the with the media okay we can what um we have what profiles over here so allow members to upload um, photos in profiles and activities yes enable albums yes okay just like how facebook does it on groups okay allow members to also upload photos in groups yes enable group albums also yes and the messages allow members to uh, to upload photos in private messages yes and then forums you can also allow members to upload photos in forums and then you can check the upload size okay so i want to limit the upload size to let's say 10 megabytes and then uh, um and the the upload limit per each badge will be also be what will also be 10 okay or maybe let me say um five okay five per each badge and then um when you go to this one is for documents so allow uh, members to upload documents in profiles yes i want to allow members groups yes messages yes forums yes okay and then i can also what limit the upload size to 10 and then this one also the badge should be five okay so the next one um this ones are files extensions now the files extensions that you want to allow you can click here to uh, to manage it okay but i'm not going to deal with that and then this ones are what are um videos okay so they said that your server needs ffmpeg installed to automatically create thumbnails after uploading videos ask web host so you you need to make sure that um your server can be able to what to able to um you know accept videos or create thumbnails for the what for the videos okay so i'm not going to um you know go through all this one i'll leave it like that because i can still go ahead to what, upload my videos and then um, for the videos allow members to upload videos in uh, in their profiles yes and activity feed group also can also up upload photo uh, videos and then messages they can also upload what messages and then videos uh, forums they can also what upload what uh, um, um videos so you can restrict your videos let's say um 20 megabytes okay and then the um allow per badge will be let's say one one video per badge okay and then you can manage the extensions over here okay you can click over here to manage the extensions and then images okay so you can click over here to uh, allow um all the images that you want okay so um, i'll select all of them and then with a gif okay with a gif you need an api key to be able to uh, um get the gif um you know um shown in your what in your website okay so uh, make sure that you have an api key for the gift so this is my api key i'll paste it over here okay if you don't know how to get the api key you can click over here to create um you know the, to get the api key okay to create um, an account on the giphy website okay so you go to developers um, dot giphy dot com okay click over here to create an account so when you click over here you're able to uh, create an account over here this side so all what you need to do is to, uh, to click on what create account okay just click on create account and then you'll be able to uh, create account and then um you know get an api key for what for your uh, for your website okay so i'm not going to go through all that i know you can go ahead and then uh, create um the account to get the api key so um i'll leave that one over there and then you come and put it over here okay come and put it over here and then profiles so allow members to use animated gifs yes allow um, groups allow members to use animated gifs in groups yes and then messages too yes and then forums too yes and then also when you come over here this is what media what um security okay so media security basically is like um this one if it is enabled it means that sometimes when you upload certain pictures it will not show okay because of the string of the pictures or the name of the pictures okay if it is not a unique name it's not going to show so i'm going to what untake this one okay because i want every picture that i upload whether the name is in letters or numbers or you know in whatever it is it's supposed to what it's supposed to up, um, show over there and then i'll what click on save okay so now that we have everything done over here now let's go to our website and still refresh it again 
and see what happens so now guys as you can see we have what we have this one over here we have you know the video over here we have what um a document attachment we have what we have give okay all of them are what are now working okay and then we have this um you know uh, tabs to over here we can switch between the likes the mentions and all those things okay so as you can see all of them are what are working okay so um you can you know comment using maybe um emojis okay so as you can see over here there is what this is the emoji over here okay so um basically we are on course now that we have um, the images set now let's go to connections over here okay so now um you know messaging require non admin members to be connected before they can what message each other yes i want people to connect before they can be ab able to what, uh, send a private message to, what, to each other if you don't want it that way you can also ignore it okay you can ignore it and then invite so let's go to invite also okay over here too you can also allow what um you know invite okay so allow members to customize the um email invite okay so you can decide to take this one or take this one but i'll leave it just like that and then i'll go to moderations now over here member can be able to what, block themselves okay so if somebody's what uh, member blocking if somebody um, wants to block a member the person can be able to block so you allow members to block each other so i will allow it and then auto suspend automatically suspend members after they have been blocked at least five times so you can put the number over there and then you suspend them so maybe they are spamming some people or they are harassing some people okay and then email notification notify administrator when member have been what automatically suspend yes and then um you go to reporting over here so allow the following types of um uh, following content types to be reported so when um maybe you, your website is all about what um you know good things you don't want any porn or whatever it is so i'll say maybe i want videos and then photos to be what reported okay so when somebody um you know when it gets five or d you can choose you know the number of reports over here when it gets maybe five or three reports or f 10 or 20 or 100 reports it should automatically what auto hide the the the, the thing the video okay so you hide it okay so that is it and then um email notification notify administrator when content has been what automatically hidden so yes i want to um you know and then reporting categories you can manage your reporting categories too over here so let's click on save okay now the next one we're going to go is what search so these are what all the search fields that we we have over here okay so if you want members to what um you know search um to be able to search you can what uh, take this one so uh, members account which one do you want to them to use to search so i can decide to uh, use all of them so they can use email or whatever it is first name last name all those things okay i can take it and then all the other things i'll leave it the way it is and then i'll click on what save what changes okay so now that we have the last one is what labs okay now we're going to what um just activate this um you know this the notification preferences over here and then um you see once enabled a notification preference screen will be available to each member in their account settings in this in this screen members can configure which notification they receive via email okay so maybe somebody don't does not want an email uh, whenever maybe you know somebody posts something right so you want to what you want them to have those assets so that they can be able to what, configure um, all those things themselves okay so i'll click on enable over here and then i'll click on save so that um, they can choose between which uh, what they want to what, receive okay via email okay so when you go to notifications over here you realize that we have different settings and and over here okay so as you can see at the moment we activate that then this settings all came so mention a member is mentioned by another member so if you go to manage default i ju i don't want to get an email over there okay account settings a member is a member's password is what updated okay 
you can also choose not to what, get an email um activity feed okay somebody replies somebody otherwise it was like it will more or less like you know um always be sending you messages whenever somebody does what something on the website okay so i i don't really want that those things to what to happen okay and then member receive a new group message okay so over here too you can what missing email template so this one doesn't have an email template but we what we we'll click over here and then um a new this these are all for discussions okay so i also what on ticket take all of them everything that um sends email i don't want to get an email over there okay so it depends you can choose between whatever you want but for me i don't want to get email okay so that is it so after that i will just what i'll just click on save changes okay so now that we are done with the settings over here you can go through the integration tools help and credit okay so that is the whole thing now we we can what we can start um you know creating we, we can start with um let's say creating um people on the what on the um on the website okay so let's say um somebody let me let me let me create first let me create um you know the home page first okay before we will start with because this home page is now complete okay so let's let's create the home page first okay so before we even go over here let's go to set our menus um let's go to settings over here and then go to um reading and then set the news feed as what well as our home page okay let's set the news feed as so we're going to set the home page as a static and then we set the news feed as what well as a home page okay so we set the news feed as our home page and then we click on what save changes okay so now that the news feed is set as a home page you realize that we have all these things over here now let's refresh it and see how it will behave okay so as you can see it is what it is gone the um the um the the title the the title over here is gone and then the breadcrumbs is also what is also gone okay so because this one has become what our what our um um how do you call it our our home page okay so so now let's go to um the next one that we're going to do is to edit this page okay so i want to edit this page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here and then i will first bring um go to appearance and then go to widgets over here and then you know bring some widgets that will help ship um the website okay so le let's take a look at how this one looks like let's go to um the activity let's log in and see how it looks like okay so let me let me log in first um t q h 8 z okay so as you can see we have um two sidebars okay we have two sidebars over here okay so basically we need to what make sure that there are two sidebars over here and then all the activities are what in the what in the middle okay all the activities are in the in the middle so that is basically what we're going to do so um we will leave over here and go to pages all pages and then what we're going to do is um, we're going to go and look for the news feed which is the front page okay click on it to edit it and then we're going to set the template okay set this template the default template um, change it to what both page both sidebars okay so change it to what uh, page both sidebars okay so it means that the page will have what both sidebars okay so meaning that if i refresh this one it's supposed to have two sidebars so as you can see this is sidebar one this is what sidebar what two okay so this is how it's going to what behave okay so two sidebars okay so now we can go to um the you know the appearance over here and then go to widgets okay and then place some widgets in the sidebars okay so both the left and right widget we're going to play some um uh, uh, sidebars we're going to play some widget over there so i'm going to delete this ones i'm going to delete this ones 
also going to delete this ones okay so as you can see we can decide to what uh, activity directory right sidebar members directory right sidebar whatever it is okay so you can um bb press you know left sidebar now we see bb press over here because automatically when you install um body boss it comes with what body press okay because uh, body boss was built on what body press okay so that is how why we see this one over here so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to bring some you know some things over here okay so what let's let's look at how this one looks like so this one is who is online and their members and then this one is our groups okay so that is exactly what we're going to do so um let's see who is online okay so this one will come to what the left side left sidebar okay so add it we're going to add it to widget and then um this one is what members okay so um members okay so members i'm following members um following members that are following the logged in user and then this one is what members so we want this one this one also goes to the left sidebar okay so how many members do you want to show you can what write it over here and then who is online how many you know people do you want to show you can also what um, you know show it over here. i just want to show five five okay now that we have this one set now let's go to the right side but the right side bar also says what groups okay so let's locate where social groups are so this one okay so social groups so we're going to use the what the right sidebar okay now i still want to what social groups okay so i still want to also show one thing also over here and then next the thing i want to show is what profile completion okay so show logged in user profile completion progress okay so if the person haven't filled in his or her profile i want it to what show that the person needs to complete their profile over there okay so um that is what i want to what i want to do so i want to um use this one body press profile completion okay so i can decide to use this one or i can use the body boss profile completion let me see if i have profile yeah this one i can use this one so this one is what on the left side i want it to show on the left side okay so um i want to hide okay whenever it is what 100 percent and then also i want to show all these details and then click on what save okay so now if you come over here and then we refresh you realize that we see we have to see the profile completion over here so as you can see we can see it over here but i want to show it on the top okay so that it will be on the top okay so let's refresh it and see oh let me let me purge the crutch the cash let me purge oh sorry guys let me click over here to purge cash okay so let me visit the site okay so as you can see it is showing over here okay so it means that i haven't completed what my what my profile okay so i need to what, complete it and then if we have some groups over here all the groups too will be shown over here okay so that is basically for the what for the sidebar so basically uh, i think the sidebar is what um getting in shape now the next one that i want us to do is i want i want us to um check the what the menu um side also so let's go to menus over here and then you know create our menu okay let's create our menu so the first menu that we're going to create is what the primary menu and we'll link it to what this primary okay and then click on create so let's look at how this one ha this one have what the activity which is basically the news feed and then the timeline the forum and then groups okay so let's go over here and then we're going to pick um the news feed okay where is news feed okay so we're going to pick news feed the groups and fo forums okay and then i also bring members over there because i want to show members and then what again yeah i think that is all timeline okay so timeline is not here but we can get it from here okay so over here under body boss okay so just click over here 
and then just search for what timeline just click on timeline okay and then click on what this one okay so we have what the news feed the timeline and then we can have what members okay yeah we can have this one and then we can click on what save assign it to the primary and click on save now if you come over here and then we refresh as you can see because we created the what the um we created the menu now we have this ones over there which automatically comes with what with the body boss what team okay so now that we have our menu everything is what falling into what into shape okay now let's go back to the menu and create another menu again now this menu we're going to create it for what the user who is logged in okay so when the user is logged in what is supposed to what to show okay so that is what over here under under um, the user okay so that is what we're going to create so um we click on create menu over here okay guys so now um you know give a name to your menu so i'm going to say maybe user menu okay so user menu and then i'll give it to this one over here user menu okay and then i'll click on create menu okay now that i have my user menu set up and what i'm going to do is um i'm going to look through going to use the body boss um um you know menus over here okay and what i'm going to do is um so this is for the logged in user okay so the logged in user is supposed to what see what uh maybe the timeline okay i want i want the person to see a timeline i want you to see the profile i want to see the account okay i want to see the notifications messages um connections you know the groups that the person is in it um videos photos you know forums uh, maybe document and then i don't want to see him and then log out okay so basically all these ones i wanted to come over there and then i'll click on what um add to menu so i want the person to be able to uh, see so i can choose which ones so i can choose which ones i want to what i want to delete from okay so um maybe the first one is what the profile okay and then even with the account um i want to what i want to remove it and then the timeline i want it to be there and then notifications i want to remove the notifications because i can see the notification over here okay and then messages so I remove notification and messages from there and then connections okay groups videos so I'll bring groups down even with the groups I can also remove it because um, I see groups over here okay so I don't want to what, um, have groups over there so this one is what profile timeline connection um, videos photos photos should come before videos so i'm going to bring photos over here and then document okay and then even with the forums i'm going to remove the forums so basically this one okay so um i want what profile timeline connections photos videos document and then what um log out okay so yeah then i'll click on what save okay so when i go to um the website and i refresh it now let's see if it shows so as you can see it is dropping down over here okay it is it has dropped down over here so that is what we are looking for okay this one over here so profile timeline all these things and then the person can be able to uh, log out okay so that is it so now that we have our menu set okay we have our menu set now the next one is what to you know make a little bit design over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm i want i want this one to um the 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 content width should be what the, the layout of the website to be a little bit wide okay so i'll go to customize over here and then i'm also going to deal with the header over here to make sure that our um our logo and other things are set okay so let's click on the customize and then let's customize some few settings of the website okay guys so now we have um we, we are at the customization session over here so 
um, first things first let's click on general over here okay and then site layout now I want it to be wide okay so ch make sure you choose the full width wide okay and then with this one I want it to be um, three yeah I want it to be 380 okay so let me just publish it and then go over here and refresh it now we were here so let's see where it will take us okay so yeah this is okay yeah so this is quite okay so we have with a larger screen to uh, to look at okay yeah that is what quite okay so now the next one that we're going to do is what to also um that we don't want site loader but we want to uh, um get a page mapping okay for the page mapping, we want to have to what set up our our login link and then also set up our registration link okay so with the registration link we have it already okay so what we're going to do is uh, we want to look for register over here and then set it up over here okay so if you have a 404 um 404 page also you can also uh, set it okay so with the login we will create a custom login because we want to what uh, we want to um we want a situation whereby when somebody who is not logged into the website logs in logs in like for example um if because i am logged in over here okay what do you see you see that it directs me over here straight away okay but let's say i want to you know go to um, a new incognito side like this one okay and then let me you know click over here um enter enter the url over here and then open the website now what happens it breaks me it brings me over here okay it doesn't take me to the what uh, to the main page of the what of the website because the site is what secured if you are not logged in you will not enter into the main side of the website and that is what we want okay so we create a custom um, login page like this one okay so that it will always redirect us over here when we are when the user is not logged in it will always redirect the person to this side okay so um let's you know leave the 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 login side we'll let later on do it or better still we can still you know create the custom login and then later on what um over here but then we'll do it at the later end so i don't want to um go over there um you know talk about it now now let's go back let's go back and then let's check our typography so you can check your what your site title okay so how you want it okay so you can what all the typography everything that you want you can check it but i like this red so i will, I will let it mean the headings okay so what um you know you set your font a uh, type family type and all those things the color that you want you set it and then the menus okay so you can if you want you know to, to choose the um, different menu um font family you can choose it over here okay the width of the family the the, the men menu um you know width all those things you can what choose over the size of the menu and uh, the size of the font you can also what choose it over here so everything you can do it over here okay basically and then the body okay so the body uh, font too you can set it over here i like uh, as it is right now that is why i'm not changing everything okay so that is it and then let's go to the site header so this is the so if you change this color to let's say um, um this color over here the site uh, header what will change to this color okay this uh, move or um, purple color okay so as you can see it will change to this color so i want it to be just white so so that is it let's keep it as what as white over there and then you can ena enable what um search icon also enable what um, um link login link and then label registration link okay that is it so let's publish it and go to the next one so um this one also is what the site sub header okay so you can decide to uh, um, disable it or what enable it okay it depends on what it depends on you okay so we want to what, enable um custom back uh, background okay so that we will add a background so if you look at over here now when we go to let's say um let me see let's say groups over here you realize that i have this background over here okay and that is what we want to what we want to 
do so that is what this one okay so the site subheader okay so we will select this one to change the word to um to to enter uh, to to set a um, a background for it so what we're going to do is let's select um some files and then put it on our media library first so i'm going to choose um all these files okay so what i'm going to do is not not all of them i'm just going to choose this one this one this one the ones that i'm going to use for uh, basically some of the the things i'm going to do and then um what again um let me see yeah this one not not this one this one yeah okay so um i think i think i'll leave i'll leave it as this and then i'll se i'll select them and so that i will upload on the website for me and then i'll use them later on to to customize the website okay guys so now that we have our website set um our images uploaded now let me check this one this one is here yeah, this one okay so we're gonna use this one okay um set it over here and then you can what you can you know if you want it to repeat but I, I want no repeat center center is okay and then cover is okay you want it to scroll you can also make it scroll you want it to s um, stick you can also make it what a uh, fixed okay and then also um the default what um you know font family is what we are using and then the um, variant you can choose between it okay so you want it italics or whatever it is and then the font size okay you can choose the font size over here so whatever font size that you want you can choose it over here okay as the header so let's say you want the font size to be 20 and then this one the font height okay i want it to be just five so that there can be space okay so that there can be space over here okay yeah that is what i want okay so now now that i'm done with this one let me wa let me just you know uh, publish it and then let's take a look at how it looks like so let's say we're going to go for groups okay so as you can see we have this one over here okay so it is showing this way okay so so what i'm going to do is um let me go over here and then with the font color i'll change it to white okay with the font color i'll change it to white and then with the with the center center I'll say um center bottom okay and then let's click click on publish and see so let me refresh it yeah so now it is what it is okay okay so let's let's try and see if we disable the bread breadcrumb also so let's uh, disable the breadcrumb and then um see what what happens so let's go over here and then refresh it oh okay so we enabled it rather we enabled so we can what um, disable it okay and then we'll publish it now it's supposed to be disabled okay because over here it is disabled over here so let's see what happened yeah so as you can see it is gone okay okay so now that we have um you know we have this one also set sort out now let's go back and then um you know the si the sites um skin okay so that this one is the site what skin okay so this is the theme color you know you can choose your theme color over here the link color um the link over the button colors the you know the button um, background color the hover color and all those things you can set to them over here but i'm not going to touch over here because i like how it is and then this one is what the blog okay so how you want the blog site to, uh, to show i want it to show in a list form okay and then um the single post how do you want it to, uh, to also show you can choose between all these ones okay so how you want it you want it to show then you choose okay so whatever it is that you want you choose so choose what i want and then i'll publish it so anything that you do make sure that you publish it so that when something happens to your what your website um your machine it's it's still you still publish it okay so this is what the site um sidebar okay so um the sidebar layout so which sidebar layout do you want so this is what 
the right sidebar so what I'm going to do is um, you can choose between any layout that you want okay it depends on you so wherever you want it so this is the BB press um, sidebar layout okay so you choose it so I'm going to leave it as default as it is I'm not going to touch it okay so the site footer okay so you can if you want you know um, to enable background and all those things um, customize the background you can customize it the way you want it but this one all what I'll do is I'll just delete the team credit and then write with Kitech digital over there okay you can also decide to what to link it using the HTML um, tags. Okay, so um, Kitech Digital. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave it as it is, and then just um, you know click on publish over here. Okay, so we we are almost done. You can check your what your site. Let's go to the site identity over here, and then we want to choose. Um, we want to choose what our logo so we choose our logo we set our logo we skip cropping okay and then if you want to display um, site title and tagline I don't want to display it so this is what if you have um, site icon also you can set it okay the site icon is just like this one over here okay yeah but i don't i don't have a site icon so i'm later on i can set it later on now let me publish it and then i'll go back now you can set also your colors the background color over here okay so you can set it and then header image if you want to what the header to have an image you can also what set it and then also the background image if you want the background to also have an image you can set it over here and then menus okay you can you know set your menus over there but you know we have done our menus already and then the widget okay you can also set all your widgets over here but we can do it at the other side and then also home page settings we have already set up our home page already and then this one is also very important on the body boss platform okay so over here group nav navigation so make sure that it is what it is set to what um, members and then profile it also set to profile and then you can decide to hide you know the ones you want to hide from your profile okay you can decide to hide it so display um the profile is vertical so when you go to my profile over here when i click on the on my profile as you can see this is my profile okay so this is the vertical that is showing okay now if i untick if i untick this one over here and i publish it and I come over here and I refresh it you realize that it will not show vertical again it's not it, it will show this way horizontal okay so that is what that is it so anyhow you want it you can want to customize it the way you want it but I want it to be vertical so I'll, I'll choose the vertical and then you can hide anything that you want to what, hide from what from it so that users cannot what cannot see it and then when you go to the um, the action okay so um, you can connect follow you know message and then what view us and then block you can decide to what um, uh, move it the way uh, rearrange it the way you want it okay it depends on what you want and then the body boss email so this one is what the emails customization se site okay so you can decide to what customize your the emails um, you know the emails the way you want it okay so over here you can customize um, you know what kind of email that you want okay so that is it now I'm not going to do anything over there I'm just going to what go back okay so let me let let so we are done we are done with the what with the um, you know customization so let's let's refresh it yeah so as of now our website is what is in shape now okay so we can um, let me let me copy Accra photography.com go to a new incognito over here and then come over here and then you know access the website from um, somewhere I am not logged in okay so as you can see if you are not logged in this is how it behaves over here okay so you can see who is online 
okay so who is online i can see over here i can see the members over here okay and then i can also what decide to log in or what or register now when i click on login it will take me to wordpress login page as you can see over here okay but that is not what i want okay that is not what i want when i click on um, register it will also take me to the normal registration page over here so this is what um the normal registration page okay yeah but with the login that is not what i want okay i don't want this one i want a custom login what page okay so that when somebody um you know land on the website it will take that person to just like this one over here okay and that is what we are going to design next so let's go back to our our website let me close this one let's go to the dashboard of our website okay now we to be able to um, customize that particular um you know um, page we want let me let me go over here and then go to plugins okay let me go to install plugins we want to install um you know one plugin okay so what plugin that we want to install is this plugin called what login widget um um with short code okay so we want to install this plugin over here okay login widget what short code we want to install this one okay so make sure that you install this plugin okay so let me go back and go to um plugins over here add new And then I'm going to search for this plugin. Okay, so this is the plugin that we are going to what we are going to install. Okay, this one over here by um um Av 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 plugins. Okay, Avi plugins. This one. Okay, that is exactly that we are going to install. Okay, so as you can see, avplugins.com. That is the plugin that we are going to install. So install and activate it. Install that one and activate it. Now, when we install, let me let me delete this one. Let me delete this one also. Okay, so we have installed and activated it. Okay, so guys, as you can see, this is what this is a plugin over here. Now we're going to what um, use the plugin to uh, to create the page that we would we want. So let's go over here and then go to the plugin settings. So this is what the, the plugin what settings okay so login redirect where do you want the login to redirect you to i want the login to redirect me to the news feed okay or you can choose any custom link that you want and then log out redirect where do you want the logout to redirect you to and that is exactly what we are going to what we are going to do okay so before we, we let me let me save this one okay let me save this one and then let's go to pages over here and then add new page okay so to add a new page just you know enter the name of the page so what the name of the page i want to enter is let's say login okay so i want a login page login okay so just you know i i want to use elementor um canvas okay i don't want header i don't want footer okay so i want to use the elementor canvas and then i'll click on what um publish okay now go back to here the login settings okay the login widget settings and then um now that we've created our login page so the redirect a uh, logout redirect where do we want us to when it, we log out we want us to redirect to what the login page okay and then link in user um name link in username which link do you want um it to be in the user name okay so username should be um profile where is the profile okay so profile is not here so what we're gonna do is um let me see let me see let me see we can leave that one as empty okay we can leave that one as empty it's not really necessary but um add remember me so i want to check this one and then forget password link okay so with this one also we can what we can set the 
forget password link so what we can do is we can also create that one but let's go to what um register link over here so over here we can go over here and then click on what um where is it register okay select the register over here and then click on save now let's go over here and then go to forget but let's go to pages and create a new page okay let's create a new page and then call it forget password okay so call this page forget forget password okay now we go over here and then go to short codes over here you see there are short codes over here go to short codes over here now you see the short codes that we are you are supposed to use okay so we can what copy this short code okay and then come over here and then come here and then search for short code short code this one click on it okay we can decide to even create columns so that it will be in the center so let me say um column yeah so i want to choose this column and then create a three column and then bring over this one over here and then click short code and then paste this one in it okay and then i will can delete this one okay now i want a space to be on top and a space to so i'll search for the spacer and then use this one and then duplicate this spacer and then you know send this one on top okay so that there will be some kind of space over here and then i'll click on what publish okay so now that i have this one set i can come over here and then refresh this one and then for forget password link i can choose forget password over here okay and set it uh, and then click on what save okay so now that we have this one set now all what we need to do is what to click on this short code okay and then what we're going to do is um we will pick this login widget over here okay and then go to all pages go to all pages and then we are going to edit our what, our page okay we're going to edit our page the the login page so where is the login page um this one okay so click on login click on to edit it okay so now we're going to use elementor to edit it okay? so click on edit with elementor and then let's quickly edit um you know create a login page for what for our website uh, our website okay so this is what elementor canvas okay meaning that it doesn't have header it doesn't have what um footer okay so what we are going to do is we'll create um this one column you know session over here and then uh, we can make it what full width okay or we use um you know no gap as what no gap and then the height we we'll make it what minimum height okay make sure you make it minimum height and then you choose what vh okay vh over here okay and then set it to what 100 vh okay set it to 100 vh and then um, with a column position you can put it middle vertical to you can what put it in the middle the way you want it okay and then just click on what update so now that we have this one set over here now what we're going to do is we're going to bring an inner um you know session okay so i'm going to bring this inner session over here so that i have two columns over here now as as you can see on this side we have a two column okay we have two column over here so this one is what photography and this one is the other column so over here i'm going to bring in um the short code widget okay so i'm going to search for short and then drag it and put it here okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to what enter the short code in it okay so now i'm logging so it's not going to what give me the what the one that i want so as you can see say um how the copy okay log out and then this one over here we're going to what um as you can see over here, we're going to write this um how do you call it a craft photography over here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to bring um heading 
we're going to bring a heading over here heading widget over here and then we put in we put in um the one that we copied from here oh copy it bring it over here and paste it okay i call photography okay so now that we have it this way okay so we have it this way okay very good now what we're going to do is we're going to um style it okay so go to style and then you know style it the way you want it so i want it to be um this you know kind of like a red color so let's say i want it to be this red color okay and then um what i'll do next is to be able to to help me style my you know my my um you know page well i'm going to click on this um six or nine you know um, edit session over here and then i'll go to style over here okay i want to add a background image so i'll click over here the classic and then click on what add background image and then i'm going to choose this image over here and then i'll click on insert in media so i have this wonderful image over here now i'm going to what um, position is center center i'll make it to what um, default and then i'll make it no repeat okay now the next one i'm going to do is i'm going to make it to what cover so that will cover everywhere for me okay so as you can see this one is what is cover now let's look at how this one looks like okay so as you can see this one have what um this thing over here so it says what login what log out okay so let's um still bring in um you know give it an overlay the image let's give the image an overlay so let's use the classic and this one we're going to use color okay so what we're going to use we're going to what give it to what this kind of what dark overlay okay and then um, after giving it the dark overlay let's increase the opacity a little bit yeah very good now what we're going to do is um we'll pick this um you know session over here okay this this session over here and then click on here and then we can give it to a, a pattern of let's say um 40 okay and then also we can give it a margin of let's say um let me say 20 okay so now let's go to style over here okay and then you know style the the give it a background color of white okay so that it's going to what it's going to show okay and then with a border over here give it a border radius of uh, 20 okay yeah very good so that at least we'll have updated okay click to update it okay now let's take a look at the 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 login page let's take a look at the login click on login over here and let's take a look at how it looks okay so this is how it looks now okay this is how it is looking now it is almost similar to uh, almost similar to this one but it's not similar okay so we want it to uh, to look a little bit similar okay so almost like this one so what we're going to do is um we're going to bring in the login so as you can see this one have what login sign up over here it's have what login sign up over here okay so let's um oh where is it yeah this one okay so let's 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 bring that that text on top so we're going to search for what a heading um widget and then bring it on top of what of this one okay and then we, we will say what login sign up okay and then we're going to put the login sign up in the middle and then we we'll style it to be what to be black okay we will change this one to be um Montserrat. we we'll change this one to be Montserrat. we'll change this one to be um let's say 20 or 20 is too small 25 okay so let's say 25 now we'll increase the width a little bit okay 
and then um, we will go to advance and then we'll give it a bottom pattern of 20 okay and also give it a top pattern of 20 okay so something like this okay so we're going to what um update it now let's go go to here and let's see how it looks like okay so it is taking shape it is taking shape okay so it is now it what it is taking shape now the reason why the reason why you see this one as big as this one is this one i created what um a new page for the forget and then i link this text over here instead of bringing it over here just like this one okay it's like register over here i just created this um you know link over here okay so that it will show this forget um you know password over here okay so now now that it is what it is taking shape now what we have to do is what we have to place so as you can see this one is not what placing them this one is not placed in the middle okay it is somehow on the left side so let's let's try and place this one in the middle so what we're going to do is um just click over here and then go to advance over there and then with a um with a with a let's give it a margin with a margin give it what a left margin of let's say um hundred yeah and then update it after updating let's look at let's refresh it and look at how it looks okay so 100 is too much okay so now let's make it um, let's say 50 let's update it let's take a look at how it looks okay so 52 is also kind of not really good so what we're going to do is we'll come over here and give it let's say 30 okay 30 should be okay 30 should be okay 30 should work yeah i think 30 is quite okay 30 is quite okay so um let, let me let me give it like let's say 20 okay so that i'll i'll be okay with it sometimes you need to be trying all these things and then make sure that everything works fine okay before yeah so as you can see i think this one is what quite okay so um this one is okay so we have this one set up already this one is okay now <coughs> we can you know give it um give this session okay give this session um, um how do you call it you know the border we're going to give it a, bo a box shadow okay and let's increase the um the blur a little bit so that it's going to what raise a little bit okay so something like a shadow okay and then let's give this one a dark kind of thing okay so um let's update it and let's fix this one over here okay so this one a car photography now let's go and then increase the size to 40 or oh, 40 is too small 55 okay so 55 is okay and then let's go over here and then give it like yeah 800 okay and then let's come over here and give it Montserrat okay so so Montserrat is what it's quite okay but as you can see it is what it is big so let's give it like 50 okay so 50 is what is okay now let's go to um this this one says what this one says um we copy this one Accra photography helps you connect with what with photographies around you okay so let's drag in a text widget over here so drag in a text widget over here and then 
we insert this one over here and then let's style it okay let's just style it let's um give it a white um white color and then go to the typography and choose poppins for it and then set you know the typo the way you want it so i want it to be 18 and then you can decide to increase the font a little bit okay so 18 okay let me say 20 20 okay so i think this one is what is also quite okay now what i want to do is i want to reduce the top you know margin so um top pattern so i'll go to negative 20 okay so negative 20 is no good so it means that i'm going to reduce the margin okay so negative 20 here yeah. so what i'm i'll do next is what um i'll click over here okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to um, vertical alignment and then put it all in the middle okay and then click on what um, update and then let me come here and then go to our login page and then refresh it yes yeah, so as you can see this is our login page and it is what it is quite similar to what to this one okay even though this one have what height okay but it is quite similar almost the same okay so now that we have this one set we need to what make sure that it is mobile friendly okay it's mobile friendly so because um, this one is what is mobile friendly okay so we need to make sure that this one is also mobile friendly so click on the responsive mode over here and then let's check the responsive on tablet so this is how it will look on tablet so we can reduce um, the size a little bit so I'm going to click over here and then go to advanced okay and then I can give it um, all around mar margin of let's say 20 okay and then also the same thing applies to here I can also give an all around margin or oh, let me let me check a look at it okay I think this one is quite okay so what I'll do is I'll reduce this size a little bit let me go over here and instead of um, 50 I'll say 40 okay yeah so this one is what's quite okay now let's go to um, you know mobile where a lot of people use um, this okay so this is what the mobile view okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size of this one okay so let me click this one to reduce the size and change it to let's say 30 okay and then um, I'll I'll go to this place and put it in the middle okay yeah so that it's, it's going to be in the middle okay and then um, I still want to you know reduce the size a little bit so that it will be on one line so let's say 25 yeah so this one is quite okay and this one also I'll reduce the size the put it in the middle and reduce the size okay so I'll say um, maybe 15 or maybe 14 yeah so 14 is what is quite okay and then I'll update it okay so let me um, leave it this way now let's go back over here refresh this one and then let's you know inspect it and see how it looks like on mobile so um, we can you know check the responsive mode okay by clicking on this um, icon over here okay so this is how it looks like on what on mobile okay so as you can see this is how it looks like on mobile so you can s you know change all these things so say um, iPad so this is how it looks like on an iPad and then um, you know iPhone or pixel 5 let's say pixel 5 this is how it looks like on what pixel 5 so what however you want it okay if it is okay for you you what you you make it um the way you want it so um basically it is not okay for me because it seems that on the mobile side this one is um you know shifted a little bit 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here and then remove this one okay and then update it okay come back over here still inspect refresh this one refresh it and then inspect it on the console and see how it looks like okay so now I think it is what looking good okay now it is looking good okay so now that I have um, I have the, the login now that we have the login set we can um, you know go back so let's click over here and then click on what um, exit to what dashboard now we can what set our what our login the way we want it so um, now that we have our login set now what we have to do is what we have to um, we want to make the website what private okay so go to body boss over here and then go to settings okay so from settings over here okay now you go to privacy over here you see this privacy over here set to a private website so click over here okay and then you what you you are restricting all the what everything that people have to log in before they can be able to access your what your website okay so click over here and then click on save okay so you realize that it will bring you over here okay when you save it this box will what will come okay they will tell you to what enter the url that you want to what you want to exclude from it okay so you want to exclude the login so enter it this way just like this way okay you want to exclude the login okay you want to exclude the log automatically the registration is excluded okay but because we the login and registration is but because we created um, a custom login we have to what you know use this one okay we have to exclude this one and then also we want to exclude um, the news feed which is also the front page okay so what we want to do is I want that one to come first so I want to what, exclude what that one also which is what the news feed so if you go over here okay let's let's check um, the settings over here the news feed slug okay I want to see the slug of the news feed where is it yeah so let me see um, let me go into it and then let me look at permalinks okay so because we've set this one as the home page okay so it's not giving us the slack so you forget about it and let's go to what here okay let's just enter what the login over here okay because we want to exclude the login okay so let's um, you know click on it activate it okay and then if let's say um, we refresh this one okay it comes over here okay now let's go back over here and then choose go to um, go to um, you know customize okay click on customize over here click on customize we're going to set the what the login the custom login that we what we used okay we're going to set it so that whatever somebody clicks on what somebody clicks on the login um, this this login this the login that is over here it will, it will um, you know bring the person to what to um, the page that we want we want okay so um, let's go to general over here and then page mapping and then select the login okay select the login page so this one yeah that is what our login page okay so now that we have that one set now let's go back okay now let's take a look at how the website appear in the incognito mode so let's say we want to go to the home page so as you can see it doesn't allow us to go because we are not logged in okay so that is how it is so let's go back again so if you look at over here it says what um bp no access okay it means that we don't have what access to it to enter over there okay so 
let's go again we cannot still go okay but let's click on register over here we can be able to it register okay and we can have access to all these ones but let's try and click on what group over here it will still bring us to it the login page over here okay so that is what we really what needed to do to do and we've done it okay so um now that we have you know everything is almost set everything is almost set. our website is well complete okay the website is now what now complete all what we needed people to uh, to fill the website so let me show you how you can be able to uh, create um you know people to be able to fill it so open the website in a new page like this okay so open it and then click on what register over here now let's try and register people on the website so let's say i want to register um you know a different person over here okay so let's say the person is called esther oh le this is the password right so enter your password so i'm going to enter my password okay and then um the first name so let's say esther and then the last name so let's say asari and then um the nickname okay so let's say mckay so after that you can what click on create account now the moment your account is created they said before you log in you need to confirm your email address via the what email we just sent you so they sent you what an email so make sure that you confirm that email so let's check the email okay guys so as you can see over here this is what the email that we've got okay so a craft photography over here thanks for registering to complete the activation um account your account go to the following link so you have to what, click over here to activate your what your account okay so let's click over here to activate our account so this is what our activation key okay so all what you need to do is to click on what activate okay so your account is what activated so we need to what um to log in okay so click on this one to what to log in so now we can decide to what to log in okay so we can you know log in with what our username that we will use okay so we use make and then you enter your what your password and then click on what login and then as you can see you are logged in okay so as simple as that but guys you realize that it's a long process okay it's a long process if you want to secure your website then this is the right way but if you want people to you know register on it quickly fast okay this is a very long process it will even deter people from even what um, joining your what your website okay so i'm going to show you how you can be able to what you know um make it so simple for people to uh, to join okay easily so now as you can see it says to uh, complete your profile so you can decide to uh, um to go ahead so let's complete the profile first and then i'll show you the next step to do so click on what um profile photo so we're going to you know add a profile photo so you can you know add your um, profile photo so when you scroll down over here okay we can select click to select the photo that we want so let's say um we want this one okay so we have to quote um you know crop it okay so let's say we want to um crop it so let's say we want it this way so just like the way facebook behave okay so we just crop it and as you can see our profile photo is set now let's set what our cover um image or cover photo so um click to select the image and then you know choose the image that you want so i want this image and then they you'll be recommended some size that you want to use okay so he said what um you have to for best results use this kind of size but it's okay for me i think this one is what it's good so now that this one is good, let's go to our news feed and see if you still have something to say again. So they said what? Um, let's let me refresh here. 
okay so this one is said this one is said but still saying this one so what it means is that it's not really taking effect so let me go over here and then you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to purge the cache, the cache, and then see what happens. Okay, okay. So let me let me um, click on the news feed again. Yes, as you can see, it is gone. Okay, it is gone. And it's because of the caching uh, plugin. That is what. So you realize that anything that we do, you know, you change your profile, you change, you became a registered member, and all those things will be what will be in the what in the news feed okay and then people will be what will also be seen okay so if i want to comment comment or welcome him I'll, I'll i've seen it over here so um i can just say what it may be um welcome okay hi there welcome okay so i can what comment on it and then it's supposed to what it's supposed to you know happen over here okay so if let's say let me refresh this one and see so as you can see over here it says what hi there welcome okay so that is what basically um how you can be able to what um, you know communicate okay and you can see that we have what um one person over here who is what kobe okay and two people are what active over here okay so that is it so um that is how you can be able to uh, you know go ahead and then create this beautiful website now like i said if somebody wants to register it takes the person through a whole lot of what long process okay so now let's you know go ahead to um look at how you you can shorten that process okay so we're going to install one plugin which is called auto login on register forward body boss okay so we're going to install this plugin which will, what, will automatically log you in at the moment you register. Okay, so it will skip all those process. So let's go to plugins and add what new. And then let's look for that plugin. So just type in auto login, auto um, login for what? On auto login on register for body boss. Okay. So just search for that plugin, and you you'll be read you be you seen this one. This one is what we are going to what we're going to install. So just click on install over here, and then click on what activate. Okay, so its purpose is basically to automatically log in so at the moment you install it it is what it is activated you don't need to do anything about it again now let's go back over here okay and what we're going to do is we're going to log um esther out okay so let's log esther out so you see when you log out it also brings you back to what this place okay so esther is logged out now let's register another person okay so let's call the person may maybe um, um let's say the person is um the so this is the email address and then um the password okay and then also the first name let's say the person is james and then um the last name is what johnson okay and then you know the nickname is what let's say um james okay so let's just click on what create account so as you can see it automatically logged james in over here okay so james automatically become a member over here because of the plugin that we what we installed okay so that one is also so if you want to secure your website then i think the first one will be good but if you want to you know people to log in faster um register and log in faster then this one is what is the best okay so um the new when you go to the news feed see james also have to what you know run through this process okay so that is what james so um 
James can decide to what you know let's say um up upload a photo okay so let's say James want to say um maybe James said nice place to be in Accra okay and then James will post so this is what James posted okay so if if I come to my timeline okay I'm supposed to see what James posted so as you can see when I refresh James said what nice place in what Accra I can view it and then I can also what, like it over here and I can comment okay and say maybe yes it is and then you know comment on it and close it just like the way Facebook behaves okay so that is it so basically um, that is how we can be able to what, create a beautiful you know social media website or community website just like this one okay so um to 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 create um, a group you can you know click on groups go to groups and then as you can see over here it says what create a group okay so you can just click on what create a group and then give it a group name so Accra photographers give it you know um, the description of the group and then click on what create okay so I'm not going to give any description and then you go through the settings of the what of the group okay so what you want the group to what the settings what you want the group to follow and then uh, proceed to what next and then um, group name is required okay so we oh I, I went previous okay sorry let me let me go to instead of going to next I went to the previous one okay so let's go to the and then next okay so click on next okay let me go to the previous ones again see the settings again so make sure that you check the settings which members of this group are allowed to send group messages so I want all members to send group messages so you can you know the settings determine what kind of group you are creating okay and then uh, forum create a discussion forum to allow members of this group to communicate in a structured bulletin board um, style fashion yes you can what create okay so you can go to the next step and then you can add you know a photo of the um, group okay so I want to add this one and then you can uh, crop it the way you want it okay so so that is it and then I can go to next okay so this one to also cover image so I can choose any cover image I want so let's say I want this one okay and then I'll click what next okay so members you want them to what you want them to be on the group so you can what, decide to what, add Esther you can also decide to add James okay all of them will be invited to join the group okay and then you can send them what um connections okay so you can send them invite okay so um after that you can click on finish okay so these are basically how you can this is basically how you can be able to what, create a group okay so let's let's go to Esther's place um this is James okay so let's go to James place and see if James have what any message or whatever it is so as you can see James have what two messages okay so it says what uh, somebody commented and then he was he has been asked to join what a group okay so we can check it so what a craft photographers okay so you can what accept it okay so now James is what a member of what of a group okay and is uh, as you can see James have two notifications and then one what uh, photos the photo that he uploaded okay so um, basically that is how you can be able to what um, you know create a beautiful website like this now 
what I'm going to do next to close um, the the tutorial is what, to create a dummy, um, you know, um, 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 dummy like members on the website. So with this body boss team, you can be able to, a body boss plugin. You can be able to create what dummy uh, members on the website. Okay. So for instance, when I go to tools over here, go to body boss set um, tools. Okay. Go to body boss over here and then click on what tools over here and realize that default data. Okay. So this is the default data. So I can decide to select all of them. Okay, just select all of them because I want to create groups. I want to create a whole lot of what forums and discussions and replies. And then just click on what import selected. Yes, I want to import. Okay, guys. So as you can see, it is what it has been successfully imported for us. Okay, so let's check the website and see how it looks like. So let's go to Aqua Photography. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot of uh, groups over here. Okay, we have a lot of groups over here, which has been imported for us. Okay, so um, basically that is what that is how you can be able to what. Uh, so all all um, a lot of what uh, you know things has been able to uh, added to the what uh, the website. Okay, so we have um, these all these members over here. Okay, yeah. So basically that is how you can be able to uh, add. Um, you know this kind of what this kind of like dummy images uh, dummy dummy things or dummy data to your what to your to your website okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the height of this one a little bit so I'll go back to um, appearance over here and I'll go to cost um, wid widget over here okay because I want to increase the the number so this is what the the right the group over here okay so i can decide to bring in a different thing or i can decide to increase the group okay so over here as you can see it is five okay so i don't want it to hang what i don't want is i don't want this one to hang okay i want it to what um to fill this place okay so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go to the widget area it does select um something to fill that place or increase the social um, you know so let me see let me see let me see let me see okay so I can decide to bring in this search form over there let, let's see how it works so let's say let's go to this place and refresh this one okay so nothing happens let me let me purge the courage and see what happens yeah so this is the search form okay so uh, I just want the search form to be there okay so I can decide to even bring the search on top okay so that it's going to be on top of the groups okay so basically you can decide to put in it anything that you want to put you know in the widget side or the side by side okay it depends on you what you want okay so uh, you can customize it the way you want it okay so i think this this tutorial will help you to create any kind of what um community or social media website that you want to uh, that you want to create now remember that you can add um you know you can decide to add um um, um e-commerce to the website okay you can also decide to add you can also decide to make it what a paid membership um, you know website or whatever thing that you want but you need to what basically like go to go more of like you know the pro version of the website of the plugin okay but with the e-commerce you can decide to add woocommerce to it to sell your your any product that you are selling so that um whoever comes over there can be able to what can be able to buy something okay maybe you have some product you are selling and then you want to what use your community to sell it okay so you can also decide what to use it so guys i hope this um video helps you a lot to be able to um, create this kind of what website community website or social media website for your group or for your school or for any kind of platform that you are what you are working on so um please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and share this video for others to also watch okay 
see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye